Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Uh, today we will start with the first tutorial regarding Qual 2K. After uninstalling the Qual 2K from the official website, as you can see here, and uh, you can refer to my first video regarding Qual 2K, and I explain on how to download and set up the Qual 2K for the very first time. So, after downloading the software from the official website, I can open it here and usually you will get these three uh, files. First one is the user manual guide, the second one is the Fortran and the third one is the Excel sheet which is the user interface for Kuala 2K. Basically, Kuala 2K uh, is a one-dimensional uh, software to model the water quality for streams and rivers. So let's start and open the file. Uh, I, I'd like to tell you something. Uh, this software is, uh, has data inside it and it's an example for uh, Fox River which is located in USA. So I'll just wait for a while until it opens. So here is the actual Excel sheet. I'll enable editing. And uh, I'll also click on uh, enable content. Then here is the interface, the user interface for Kuala 2K. I'll go to the first sheet. And today uh, we will focus totally on this sheet. I'll explain everything. Uh, and before I start, I would like uh, to mention uh, the uh, color coding in the Excel sheet. So we have uh, four colors. We have blue, we have yellow, green, and dark. So uh, blue color uh, is the cells that we need to insert the inputs. Uh, green uh, refers to the outputs that will be calculated from the quality key. Okay. And uh, we have the yellow, which uh, refers to the data that we use it for validation purposes, as we can see here. And finally, the dark uh, color. And this one, uh, we use it only for labeling, and we are not going to uh, change the data inside it. So let's start with the first sheet. And uh, we'll start from the first row, number eight. Uh, this is the river name, and um, as I told you, there is an example uh, already inside the Kuala 2K. Uh, this is for Fox River. I will just keep uh, the name as is it. And if I want to change it, I just simply click and uh, write the name of the river that I'm going to uh, do the uh, numerical modeling for it. And the second row, uh, the, the save file name, and actually here we just uh, the, put the name uh, and uh, we just put the name. Uh, that will be the name of the output or the file results. So, for example, for now, I just see this is first try. First try, for example, first press, first try. First try. And uh, uh, here, uh, row number 10, which is the most important row, and it's uh, about the directory where the file is saved. So this one must be changed uh, to the uh, file that I saved uh, my uh, Fortran in. For example, now uh, it's here. So uh, let's see the directory. I'll just right click, then go to properties. Then I'll just copy the location from here and simply paste it in the directory. Okay, this done. And here I can insert the date of uh, today. For example, today is um, 5th of May, uh, and, uh, 14th. The, the month is May, the day is 14, and the year is 2021. And uh, here is the local time hours uh, to UTC time zone. And actually, I'm here in Malaysia and it's uh, uh, plus it 
Then uh, here we can see the daylight saving time. Some countries still using uh, daylight saving time. If uh, you are in a country that using the daylight saving time, just uh, go to the drop down menu and select yes. And here in Malaysia, they are not using it anymore. So I just click no. Uh, calculation uh, step. Uh, here is the calculation, uh, the calculation step represent uh, the accuracy and resolution of the output so to get smooth uh, deal bloat we need to make the calculation step as small as we can for now it's open to one the maximum value that we can enter is four hours if we include like for example if i include five hours the software automatically will set it back to uh, four hours so for now uh, let's keep it as a point one and this will control the time that will be taken by the call to pay to run uh, to run the model. So, for example, it's, uh, if I make it like one, it will take uh, less time. If I open one, it will take more. If I if I keep if I put it open to one, it will take uh, much more uh, time uh, to complete the numerical uh, to complete the numerical modeling. And here is the final time how long this model is going to be simulated. So they put it 30 days. And uh, for example, for now, uh, just to save the time, I'll make it only 14 days. And the minimum value here that we can enter is two days. If I put it like one day, the quality key uh, will uh, just use the default, the money, the minimum value, which is two days. So uh, better to keep it more than two days to get more accurate results. And here uh, we have the uh, solution method for differential equations. And, uh, if you click to the drop down menu, we have two methods. Uh, for me, uh, I used to uh, use the earlier method, uh, and I just keep it the default. Also, uh, to uh, we have uh, three methods to solve a solution with for pH. Uh, and uh, for me also, I usually use the default, which is Friend method. You can uh, later on you can use you can change the method and uh, check the results. Um, so this is in blue color. Uh, I need to input all these uh, parameters. Then let's go to the uh, green cells here. This one is the output from the software. Uh, so uh, this thing will be generated by uh, the quality key okay. and uh, once I run it you will notice some changes here because I change only the time zone so the time of sunrise time of uh, solar noon and time of sunset will be changed also uh, photo period will be changed accordingly based on the local time hours to UTC so let's try uh, with this setup and uh, click run for run Uh, it usually it will take a few seconds, maybe one or two minutes. Uh, depends on the uh, depends on how many uh, rivers you are going to simulate, and depends on the calculation uh, time step, uh, final time. And we can see here it started to account from one. Once it start to count it from one, that means you have no errors. So it will account to 10 days because I put it here uh, 10 days as you as uh, the final time uh, Here you can see this is 10 days. So uh, here is number 9 and now is 10. So uh, the numerical link is completed And we can see here uh, the numerical link is finished uh, By default this uh, uh, pop-up menu will shown and if I'm uh, modeling uh, one mainstream with tributaries it would be shown here in the list down so for now I'm just simulating one single river so I just press, uh, press OK and uh, here is the results for example I'm here in this uh, sheet which represent the travel uh, time um, uh, uh, later we will uh, navigate to other results. For now, I'll just go back to uh, to get first sheet, and you can see here this is the 
time of rise 6 47 a.m. Uh, local time in Malaysia. This is 2 is the time of uh, solar noon and also here is the time for sunset in Malaysia. And we have a uh, foot period about 13.47 hours. So um, uh, let's try another thing. Uh, as I told you, for example, I uh, if I change the calculation step, if I make it, for example, uh, 1, and let's see how long uh, it will take for the quality key to run the numerical modeling. So I just click it, uh, keep the calculation step one and press run. So uh, it will take like uh, less time. Uh, maybe just we'll do it too fast. Uh, let's see. So finish. Uh, because the time step uh, or the calculation step is uh, too high. So uh, uh, here is the uh, results. You can navigate also to say uh, other results in terms of tables or in terms of charts. So he has, for example, this is the flow uh, in metric per second with uh, distance, and this is the discharge in metric per second, and this is the distance or the length of the river. This dotted, as I told you, that values we uh, inserted. Uh, for validation purposes, for example, in here the hydraulic data. So uh, this is the hydraulic data will be uh, plotted for validation purposes. Uh, later on, we will uh, explain uh, other sheets uh, in detail. And uh, for today, uh, I hope you fully understand all parameters we uh, inserted in the first sheet of Balatu Key software. Thank you for watching. And sorry for uh, my, my uh, English, it's not my uh, mother language. And uh, maybe uh, I hope you will enjoy this. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. And please wait for the coming uh, tutorial to explain uh, the second sheet, which is the headwater. Thank you.